All right, my friends, welcome back to another week of Destiny 2 Season of the Seraph. We were picking up the main story of uh, the season. I didn't actually realize that they've been doing reset a little bit earlier. Uh, so I've been recording these at like 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and I hopped on a little bit earlier, like 1240 this time. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's available. So I don't know what time it actually goes live anymore. Your efforts to but apparently I've been late every week. So I apologize. My reconstruction <coughs> continues apace. Okay. This is not the first time the Hive have sought to steal my weaponry. I froze an entire brood on Mars to stop their last attempt. Mm. Despite their persistence, they have never once succeeded. In no small part thanks to the Vanguard. Right. This time will prove no different. Okay. My diagnostics indicate that we nearly have enough data to complete the repair cycle. Almost. Once the war sats are under our control. Maybe next week? I will lay waste to the Wrathborn. If they so desire to witness the power of a war mine, then I will gladly oblige. Well, okay then. All right. Well, as per usual, you know how this goes. Uh, collect Seraph key codes. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it because I don't have enough? Is it because I don't have enough? Because that would suck, dude, if so. Where's the Seraph key codes? Are these? No, these. No, these are not it. Where are the key codes? What do the key codes look like? These are the key codes. I need 500 to open a chest. Oh, shoot. All right, guys. Give me a second. Uh, let me get some codes. And uh, what I assume is that we're going to have a similar thing to do is every other week. If there's anything interesting, I'll show you guys. If not... We're just going to kind of cut on over. I'm just going to play like a crucible match or something real quick and uh, see if I can get some codes real quick. So just give me uh, give me a minute. We're going to we're going to snap over the whatever's next right now. Well, I got my Seraph keys. I uh, played Clash. I absolutely absolutely popped off. I got 31 kills, but the rest of my team, not so much. Not so much. I almost had a 2.0 KD. So anyways, we're good to go. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go over to the... Uh, for the activity to open a seraph chest and you know it's gonna be the same activity anyways you guys know it's gonna be um uh, it might be a little bit harder it might be a little bit crazier but besides that it's gonna be pretty much the exact same so let's go ahead we're gonna jump into this uh it's gonna be what is heist battleground i guess we're gonna be doing um and again if anything is new and worth showing you guys let's let's i'll show you guys uh otherwise we're just gonna skip on over I just want to show you guys my KD, honestly. <laughs> I did pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. All right, here we go. Woo! All right. All right. This should be fun and interesting. Come on! Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's happening here, man? We're barely doing damage. Everyone's dying. Why are they dying on me, man? Come on, stop dying on me, dudes! Or girls, I don't know what you are, but just stop dying! Whoa! I'm dead. I mean, do you blame me? The back feels a little uh, heavy. I don't know what's with everything today, man. I hop into the crucible I'm carrying. I hop in here, I feel like I'm carrying a little bit. <sighs> All right. Well, we got the halfway. So now, hello? Pick up the charge. 
Oh boy! Deposit it before I die! Alright. Here's number two. Oh no! Alright. Alright, 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 alright! Dude! I'm stuck! Oh, come on! Hey. <sighs> That's the last arc charge. We need to clear some of these ads. This is getting intense. Like, severely intense. Immune. Whatever, dude. Alright. We do what we can here to help clear some of the ads. And then, we continue with our journey of defeating this boss. Barrier. Ah. Uh. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There are the teammates go to. Ah, stupid thrall. We're almost done. And we're so. So close. Come on. There we go. I'm dead. Like the freaking end of the fight, and I'm dead. Goodness gracious. You think your grandfather could ever see himself as an ally of the city? Turn the helm. Seriously? Is this the same uh, dialogue? Reaction. No one asked you. His mind would be an asset, no? Assuming he was kept content. He no. Know the meaning of yeah, the word. this is um, this is this is a repeat. So we're just gonna exit. Uh, and <laughs> we're gonna return to the helm, please, man. This is this is insane. All right, let's head over to the head over to the helm and uh, see what we gotta get done. That was just. Probably gonna be like a mission or something. I don't know. I don't really know, but we'll we'll find out. We will find out next week. <laughs> no, there's got to be more than that for now. What is this? Return to the home. Forty-five out of fifty-four. They see the question is: are, Is there only two more weeks? Or sorry, is there one more week after this, or two? I don't even know what week this is right now. Anyways, all right. Um, we got the radio. Think of each. Listen, I guess we'll listen to that real like quick. A starship. The crew works together to pilot it, but it doesn't mean the crew all share one mind. Or the okay. same ideals. This aligns with observations I've made in the Infinite Forest, where aberrant Vex were quarantined and destroyed. Hmm. Aberrant in that they moved against a consensus. Aberrant in ideology. The Vex may seem unified, but they're divided into a number of factions. Just like us. Tell me, as someone who has traveled time in a circle, are our divisions so clear in every cycle of history? No. Nothing is ever clear, no matter how many times history repeats itself. Choice is always the knife we fall on. Our own choices, each and every time, seem to be what dooms us. Always? Not always, but too often. We fracture, we fail, and the wheel turns again. 
we, constrained to linear time, do not have the ability to learn from our future mistakes. You, however, not to put the burden of all this on you, but it feels as though the Traveler has a plan for you. We just can't see it yet. It could make the plan a little clearer. Do you feel you've learned enough? Collectively, over your journey to prevent our end? Or will we be having this conversation again someday? I don't know. We've never had this conversation before, so... I suppose there's a first time for everything. Is that it? Okay. Well, interesting. We have no time for pleasantries, Osiris. Oh. I bring grim tidings. Grim My tidings. have been trying to make sense of Zivu Arath's tactics. Her army's a legion, yet she commits minimal forces to battle. Minimal forces? Every Wrathborn we cut down is replaced by two more. She could replace them tenfold, so why does she show restraint? Her worm feeds on warfare. The more violent the act, the greater the power she draws from it. Much like Sabathun's worm fed on guile and deceit. You mean to say that... This is not a war. It is a ritual. Her death singers weave their magic and prepare for a grand sacrifice. If so, our strategy remains unchanged. Retake the war sets and eradicate the Wrathborn. Just as Zivu Arath desires, mm. the Warsats are immensely powerful. Their use would result in unparalleled destruction. She cares not which side is obliterated. Her worm will gorge itself on the carnage either way. She will turn her armies into blood sacrifices. And the Warsats will be the blade. Overwhelming force has proven to be the only effective tactic against the Hive. Without it, I... I do not know what to do. Hmm. I suggest you think... <clears throat> okay. ...and quickly. I will apprise your vanguard of these findings. Alright then. Report to Zavala's office. For an emergency meeting. Oh boy. All right, I guess we're going down to the tower now. So, let's head over there. Oh, man. This is getting crazy. We're going to have some, like, crazy cutscene. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like almost every season we have some kind of emergency meeting in Zavala's office. I don't know if I'm remembering wrong, but it feels like that's, that happens more times than not. Where it's like... All right, head over to Zavala's office. So we're gonna have a big cutscene. We did at the towards the beginning of the season with uh, uh, what's her name, the Cabal General girl or wh whatever she is. Um, and I feel like we did a couple times after that too. I don't know, could be wrong. Let's just grab this real quick, just so uh, yeah, forget, I'll do it after. This? I'll do it after. Don't wanna waste time. All right. Going down. Um, how do I get down, down again? No. Not, not like that. Whatever I did, it was not, <laughs> not like that. All right, there we are. Oh, join the Vanguard meeting. All right, while we're here, Let's see what exactly. Do not know. There we are. The Warsats are a means to an end. Zivu Arath will bask in the destruction they bring and open the ascendant plane above Earth, as she did on Tora Bottle. It does not matter who pulls the trigger. <clears throat> we must cease our efforts to restore the war mind. No. We've worked too long and too hard to stop now. Rasputin is our best shot at winning this war. 
That is hmm. precisely my concern. He is a weapon made to be wielded. He is more than a weapon. He's our ally. And he will act in humanity's best interest. Are you certain? He has kept secrets in the past. Acted without counsel or consensus. So have you. Fair point. Rasputin's made Fair mistakes. Fair point. But he's learned from them. The same as the rest of us. <laughs> Then I propose we aim not for total victory, but a stalemate. Allow Rasputin to prevent Zivu or Roth from claiming her prize, and refrain from using it himself. Hmm. It's settled then. We hold the line. Okay. So what do we have to do? <clears throat> if anything. Maybe that's the end. Oh, wait. Are we going? I think it's putting us into a quest. Speak to Rasputin at the exoframe in the helm. Is it... Where's it bringing me? Um, I'm a little confused right now. Does it bring me back to the helm? Automatically? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Well, I appreciate that. Alright. Well, let's talk to Rasputin. a machine of war built for a singular purpose. To destroy any and all threats to humanity. Mm. Clovis and I disagreed on what constituted such threats. But not on the means to the end. On Mars, I developed the escalation protocol to combat the hive. Ever-increasing application of force in the face of rising opposition. Was I playing into Zidorath's hands even then? Has she always accounted for my methodologies? What purpose do I serve if my actions place humanity in danger? Am I even capable of developing a solution without mass destruction? Hmm. This is a calculation I have never had to make. It will take time to run the necessary combat simulations. Follow do. the directions of the Vanguard in the interim. I will contact you if and when I have determined our next objective. The story's been intriguing, but like we haven't really had much to do um, for actual like missions. So I guess we're we're just kind of done. For now, um, the quest will progress at the next weekly reset. So I'm assuming next week's the last one because it's 48 out of 54. They could try to stretch it another week somehow, but I'm pretty sure next week should be the last one. So we'll see. Uh, we do have one more radio thing and then we'll uh, wrap this up. See what they say. Full of promise. How she glowed. Like the light filled her. But it was her eyes that convinced me to take her as my apprentice. What did you see in them? Hunger. She was desperate to prove herself back then. I knew the feeling well. And you know it again now. When Ikora looks in my eyes, what do you think she sees? Everything that she always has. She pities me, Mara. As you and I have pitied others. Those who hang on our every word, your cultists, my people, do not mistake Ikora's pity for disdain. If she pities you, it is out of love. I have no love for the cult of Osiris. No. Ask me what I see when I look into your eyes, Osiris. I will not, but you'll tell me just the same. I see a man who is afraid he'll never be able to live up to the expectations that other people have placed on him. A man so afraid to hurt or be hurt that he spent his very long, very accomplished life holding those same people at arm's length. This burden, this 
inheritance of guilt. It is thy chorus, too. I never wanted this for her. As your mentors never wanted it for you. Wow. Well, okay then. Uh, also, it's worth noting that this right here, more than a weapon, six out of seven. So next week is pretty much, yeah, the end. So, well, guys, that's going to wrap up another week of Destiny 2's Season of the Seraph. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to stick around for more. We do variety of gaming content here on the channel. And, of course, we play through this wonderful world of Destiny ever since Destiny Alpha. So we're still going strong. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, game on. And I'll see you guys soon. I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.